All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about the Twitter masterclass, how to grow followers on Twitter, how to make money on Twitter, step by step, one, two, three, four, do exactly what I say. I have 91,000 followers on Twitter. I've made just over $3 million doing it. So if you are an agency owner, if you are selling some kind of product, you want to connect with people, high level people who are really smart, they're all on Twitter. And this is how you grow. And this is how you entrench yourself into that community. So I would really appreciate if you guys could subscribe to this channel. And you could like this This will help the YouTube algorithm push my videos farther. I appreciate you very much. And let's get straight in. Before we go any further, I need to take a moment to thank today's sponsor me i have two things to sell you i have one internetmoneygroup.com internet money is for beginner entrepreneurs you don't know what to do you don't know what to sell you don't even know what to learn in the first place this is designed for you to indoctrinate you into the world of making money on the internet and doing all the things that we talk about on twitter two if you are an agency owner or you are a high ticket business owner and you are stuck at 5k to 15k a month and you want to scale to 100k a month or more go to clientascension.com client ascension is going to help you make a high ticket offer how to make a vsl how to build an outbound marketing team with sales closers and sdrs and how to cold email how to do inbound marketing on twitter how to operationalize your business how to hire people how to do sales calls everything that is conceivably necessary to get to 100k a month and replicate the exact businesses that we have made and all these huge people you see on twitter doing 50k 80k 100k 200k a month we will help you out so if you're interested internetmoneygroup.com for beginners clientascension.com if you are already running a business and you want to scale it up further 50k 80k 100k a month there's videos on both of them go watch the video opt in and then i'll send you everything you need thanks guys back to the video let's learn how to make some money on twitter all right ladies and gentlemen today we were talking about twitter i have made roughly just over three million dollars from twitter i made a million dollars on a course with twitter which is which is pretty cool but it is it is an integral part of our lead generation for all of our companies we do some other stuff too but twitter is an absolute force driver for a lot of it and in this video i'm going to show you exactly how to replicate that how to grow on twitter and how to make money on it right so pay attention to what i'm telling you because I am the master at this. I run Twitter. I own it. No, I'm just kidding. But here's the masterclass. So the function of social media is to be social and make friends with people, right? So I can give you a formula, but at the end of the day, if you're not saying anything interesting or giving any value or teaching people things, you will not get followers regardless of how much engagement you do, right? You have to actually do things in the real world and learn things, right? So Twitter is Twitter has particularly more intelligent people than than Instagram. Instagram is more so like a flexy thing. Twitter is more so you have interesting things to say and you have good takes. So if you're not the kind of person who wants to rent a Lamborghini, rent an Airbnb and say it's yours and and fake that, Twitter is the place for you. You can grow a lot if you just have some good things to say, right? Or if you're learning things and documenting your journey, which is completely fine, right? The person on the journey is equally as interesting as the person who has already completed it. So don't let that hold you back. But we're going to go through some things here. I'm going to assume you're going from zero to X amount of followers and X amount of money, right? So um, we're going to go through some sections here. We're going to talk about like the functions of like growing your first amount of followers and some other like tips and tricks and some really important things that you need to understand. So let's go to this first. When you have like zero to 300 followers, you want to be posting at least two tweets per day. One very good information giving and valuable thread pinned on your profile, right? Mine is a little different right now because I have a lot of followers already. So mine's mine is just straight up like an offer, right? Like, so here's client ascension. Here's things about client ascension. That's what I have pinned at this moment. So you want to comment on at least 10 other accounts per day, right? And these comments cannot just be rewords of what somebody's already said. You have to inject your own anecdotes, your own experience, and add what they said, right? Like actually be an intelligent person, like put, add something to the conversation. You want the comment to be of a quality which that it could invoke a conversation, right? That you're trying to drive engagement, right? So respond to every single comment you get in your own tweets, and respond to every single DM you get, all of them. I still do this. I still respond to like 95% of the DMs I get. I respond to a lot of the comments, right? So outbound comments to, when I say outbound comments, that means you initiate the comment in somebody else's account, right? It should be about 10% of the accounts you do this to have above 10,000 followers, 50% with 3,000 to 10,000, and then about 60% or below 3,000, right? You're trying to make friends here. You're trying to actually build relationships, right? 
And so these components are just kind of adjusted as you get higher and higher, right? So 300, 2000, two tweets a day, one thread a week, at least 10 comments. We're going to talk about making threads and, act and what to tweet and stuff in this video too. So stay around for that. But um, still response all the comments, still response all the DMs and just up the amount the follower count of the people you're doing outbound comments to, right? And it, it just it just goes up gradually from here, right? You just do more to accelerate the growth because your leverage is going up. As you get more followers, the you know, more tweets you have, the more leverage you have. It goes to more people. It drives more engagement, right? You're responding to the DMs, responding to comments. Now people are beginning to like you at this point. They're, they're beginning to build a parasocial relationship with you. What a parasocial relationship is, is when people like you, and you don't even have a direct relationship with them. Like they just see your stuff and you don't even know they exist, but they like you. Um, so it's, it, you just start gradually doing this, right? Um, more tweets, thread, still doing 10 comments. And then your outbound comments are just going higher and higher and higher, right? So the, these numbers do not have to be exactly precise, but it's just the general sense is like do Twitter. You know, you want to grow on Twitter, you got to do Twitter. Right. And you have to remember, these are not robots you're responding to. These are actual other humans. So when you're talking to like, don't don't talk shit. You know what I mean? Like, just don't don't stir up controversy, like to, to just add something to a conversation. Right. So here's some general cardinal rules to follow. If you have below a thousand followers, tweeting more will not get you more followers because there's nobody to see your tweets. Right. So don't be you don't have to post like. 20 tweets a day because not even a lot of people are going to see it in the first place, right? If you have below a thousand followers, the biggest driving factor is the amount of outbound comments you're making, right? You just need to engage more. Outbound comment means you're initiating a comment on somebody else's posts, right? As you grow followers, the amount of tweets you put up becomes increasingly more important and outbound comments become less important, right? So responding to all comments on tweets you have Push your tweet back onto the timeline of your followers who are actively on Twitter, thus further increasing the likelihood of engagement on said tweet. Do not underestimate this. You must do this. This absolutely forces more impressions. It works so well, right? So you need to increase your follow conversion rate, right? And this is the amount of people that visit your profile divided by how many of those divided by how many of those visits follow you, right? So people will only follow you if they believe that following you will result in them learning new things, they are entertained by you, or you have credibility, right? So your follow conversion rate is determined by your bio and your pinned tweet. Your bio should do three things. State what your account is about, state any credibility you have, and a call to action, right? The call to action to be can be to follow you. It can be to go to this link to buy this thing, something very interesting I found on Twitter. More people follow you if you sell something. It is almost as if having something for sale automatically invokes credibility in the first place. It's really strange, but your pinned tweet should be either a very valuable thread. You are doing a step-by-step, -step, do this, one, two, three, how to accomplish this. Works really well. Or a direct link to your offer with the link on the pinned tweet. Right. It's the first thing it's like an ad when people see your profile. Right. So if you want to grow ridiculously fast, you must maximize your follow conversion rate. And you can calculate this at analytics.twitter.com. Right. There is no exception to this. There, there's no point in making comments, tweets or threads if you are not clearly showing and convincing people why they should follow you. Right. You are burning opportunities. Every single person that visits your profile is an opportunity to gain a follower. Right. So this number must be as high as conceivably possible or everything else you're doing is a waste of time. Right. It's a function of what you're trying to do on Twitter. You're getting all these profile visits. You want to convert them into a follower. So you have to show what your account is about, any credibility you have, and then a call to action, right? Um, you must be extremely clear about what your profile is about or who you are, right? If you don't know what your profile is about, say what your plan is. It could be 21-year-old attempting his first 10K month to six month documenting the journey here on, tw on Twitter. Follow me to watch it, right? You don't have to have accomplished amazing things. You can be the person on the journey. That's completely okay, right? So... Increase the amount of outbound comments to 20, 40, to 20 to 40 per day if you really want to grow and you space it out throughout the day. When you're above 1,000 followers, increase the tweets to like five a day. And you're above 1,000 followers, increase to two threads a week. It's just, th this, this is how you grow. You do more. Like, that's it. That, that's the only thing that makes you grow. Just do more. So I'm going to talk about some actual logistics and things to do. Um, I use Tweet Hunter, Hype Fury. I retweet my own tweets and I have evergreen tweets. I'm going to show you this system. Um, I have a Tweet Hunter affiliate link. I'm going to throw that in here. If you if you buy Tweet Hunter, 
through that link, I will get 30% of the payments, which is pretty cool. But if you hate me, you don't have to use that. You just go to tweet100.io instead. Um, so I bookmark my best tweets and add some of them to Evergreen on Tweet Hunter, right? So like I'll go here and what I can do is I can take a tweet. I can copy it, copy link to tweet. I can go to Tweet Hunter and on this left-hand side here, you will see Evergreen. And I can import a tweet, import tweets, and I can put that there and add it. And now what's going to happen is in my queue, I have evergreen slots. And every time there's an evergreen slot that hits on a particular time, what will happen is it'll take one of those evergreen tweets and retweet it automatically on my account. And now I also do this thing. Tweet Hunter doesn't let you do this. So I, I, I do it like this. I manually retweeting tweets. So I will go here and I will copy a link to a tweet. And if I want to manually retweet, manually schedule a tweet to retweet, I will go here, Hype Fury, click that button. It automatically copies what's in my uh, clipboard, add to queue. And now this tweet is going to retweet at 11.45 a.m. So I do that. Um, I bookmark my own tweets for easy access, right? So what I'll do is I, I'll, I'll, take a, I'll take a tweet, I bookmark it, and now I have it, I can just go to my bookmarks and then I can see all the tweets that I know are like valuable and I will retweet later on with, because sometimes I don't always wanna put it into Evergreen. So there's this thing called auto DMs on Tweet Hunter and they are so powerful, it is absolutely absurd. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So my queue, I'm gonna click a random thing right here. And what I like to do is, an auto, an auto DM is it will automatically send somebody a DM if they perform a specific action on your tweet. So for instance, I just filmed a video about how to send uh, 3000 cold emails per month without them going to spam. Um, like and retweet this tweet and I will automatically DM you the uh video must be following me to get it right now when you say must be following me to get it people are going to see that and they're like oh okay fuck, i'll follow the guy right they like and retweet it and now it just absolutely pushes this so far so then you would go to advanced options and you click auto dm and now what you would do is they have to they have to like and retweet it. And if somebody likes and retweets this, it's gonna send them this message that you type here. Hey, thanks for the retweet. Here's the video as promised. Link, right? Now, if you're really smart, what you do is the link, you make it an opt-in. So you have, you get their email now. Now you have, now you're building an email list, right? So you're getting followers and you're getting emails and your tweet just blew up, right? Works so well. Um, so buying retweets, this is a way that a lot of people grow. I do not do this anymore. I did it in the beginning, but retweets from a 40,000 account, 40,000 follower account should be worth about like $35 each. A lot of guys charge anywhere between like 750 to 1500 for batches of 30 retweets that you would send them the links on telegram, not links to the tweets, those screenshots. So Twitter can't see the source and you have to space it out. Right. So like in November, 2020, I was paying like 6K a month for retweets and like cold email mastery was just starting to absolutely rip. And I made like an astronomical amount of money doing that. Um, so how do you get retweets? How do you buy retweets? There is no marketplace for this. You have to ask people who you're regularly interacting with who have larger amounts of followers. There's no marketplace. You can't just be like, you can't just like DM someone and you don't even know them. They're like, hey bro, you sell retweets. And no one's gonna sell you retweets. I don't sell retweets, so don't ask me. Um, Nobody's going to sell you retweets unless you're actively putting out good content, right? Because people don't sell retweets to anybody. They only sell retweets to somebody who actually makes good tweets and puts out good ideas, interesting ideas. Um, I don't sell retweets. Don't ask me. So creating content. We can categorize this into sections. Competence tweets, engagement tweets, and sales tweets, right? So a competence tweet is going to show you, it, it shows you know what you're talking about and proving why people should follow you. And your pinned tweet should be your best competence proving tweet or threat. Engagement tweets are for the function of gathering attention in the first place. Like it's like meant to be a tweet that just like a shit ton of people like just because it's like a, like a good take. 
Sales tweets are direct calls to actions, pointing people somewhere. You can run these tweets as ads to your own followers. Um, so the stuff in this section is sourced from JK Molina, who, who uh, owns Tweet Hunter. I massively recommend you sign up to Tweet Hunter solely for the function of going through all the resources in the entirety because the app is amazing. If you want to follow him on Twitter, his thing is one JK Molina, right? So here's some examples of competence tweets. One example is a testimonial. So like we got this guy who's in client ascension and um, he signed a $5,500 a month client. And he said, uh, uh, thanks, Cody Mill Wizard uh, for client ascension device. Let's fucking go. And I quoted it and put the link, right? So that was a, like a testimonial tweet. Case studies, he used Philip Rivers. He's a G, a big e-com guy. Um, how we got to sort of 3 million a month by unfucking their email marketing thread. So it was a thread, right? Um, proof of skill. So here's JK Molina. One week, zero ad spend, 48.5K in revenue. Welcome to Twitter. Cool. Proof of skill. Like, I did this, right? It's just competence. So achievements, here's Dakota Robertson. Um, uh, JK Molina showed me how, uh, show my competence on the timeline. So here's my flex. Shit ton of followers, right? Humble flexes, 1 million on Gumroad today, 80K followers on Twitter today. You are all too kind. I love you, right? It's like a humble flex. So engagement tweets. The function of these is just to gather attention, right? So everybody has their own style on Twitter, but my style is never straying too far into the path of posting solely to get engagement. I always tweet in my own voice. That's because I have, this is 91 now. It's because I have 91K followers. And I don't have to attempt gathering maximum attention. and can keep all my tweets as my own ideas. But if you have a small account, you absolutely should make engagement tweets because you get a lot of traffic, like a lot, right? But always transfer it into your own voice, right? You need to find your own voice and you can only do so by actually tweeting, which is a big reason why people don't really tweet too much because they don't really know what their voice is, but you don't find it unless you actively post. So you really should just start posting tweets and then you gradually and iteratively see what works, right? So the only thing you post on Twitter, if the only thing you post on Twitter is engagement tweets, then you will only attract the kind of audience that only likes engagement tweets and doesn't buy things, right? So this is why the ideal mix is something like 20% sales tweets, 65% competence or threads and 15% engagement tweets, right? And here's a good breakdown of like how this works, right? You can pause the video right here and take screenshots of it. Um, but the big idea, this is, a, this is a behavior we find, complaining, you was shouting to the world that you're weak. Uh, this is a behavior we find in many people. Maybe we've done it, talking about either a cause you... You see, so it's, 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 what is the big idea? And then repurpose amount of problems in history that have been solved by complaining about them. Zero. You see what I mean? Each tweet has a big idea. And then you just say the big idea in a different thing. Don't ever copy people ever. It's not a good idea. You will get called out. Um, so big idea, reword it. Find what the big idea is, reword it. Find what the big ideas are and then reword it. And that's, this is how this works. So sales tweets, uh, one last spot open for CEOs, uh, 10,000 quality followers, 10 weeks, already have 33 and I'm taking a fourth because results come in quicker. DM me if you're interested, right? Here's me, you can get to 30K a month, no ads, no funnel, no sales team, just cold emails, one page site in the cell phone. If you want to get to 30K a month or more, go here, clientsessor.com, right? Um, do you have skills and want to grow to agency? Be eh. Do you have skills and want to grow an agency business out of it? We'll teach you how to do outreach, do sales, hire operators, scale, go here, right? Properly optimized Twitter profile with 300, 500 followers, couple inf informative threads. Those threads pin your profile with landing page, simple offer is absolutely enough to be making a bare minimum $3,000 a month, right? And then I plugged internet money right here. So let's talk about threads. The entire performance of a thread will be dictated upon the first tweet and more particularly the first sentence. You need to learn how headlines are written. I recommend reading the book by Michael Masterson called Great Leads, right? So like, here's an example of a bad thread. My first writing client paid me X. My last one paid me Y. Here's what changed. Good thread, the automated onboarding flow that has increased my e-com client's revenue by 30% in, in just 60 days, right? Here's some examples from Dickie. I love Dickie. He's a G. Um, so here's, here's a general way with which you could write threads and like the, like the, the source idea, less time, how I went from benching 225 to 300 pounds, only working out three times per week within just 72 days. That's a less time. How I did this in less time, less effort, how I make seven threads, 10 LinkedIn posts, eight Instagram reels and nine TikToks from just one single video, less effort. How to do all of this with less effort, less money. 
Here's how you can increase your lead flow, close more deals and make 35% more money instantly without tweeting more or spending more money on ads. How to do this by spending less money, less pain. I spent seven months sitting on the sidelines watching people grow their business, blow up on social media while I did absolutely nothing. Now I've got X, Y, and Z. Here's, here's how I did it. More money. I went from 4K a month to make $15,000 per month every month by X. Right? Story. Seven years ago, I was working at KFC making eight twenty five an hour. Girlfriend cheated on me. Car broke down. Now I'm X years old now and have made less than $5,000 completely online for seven consecutive months. Here's my story. Right? Um, how an icon or a large person did something. This person was able to achieve X and Y. He's written three books, eight presentations. Uh, right? Um, walkthroughs. So you want to instant, instantly scrape 1,000 leads of your, of your absolute perfect prospects. Here's how you can get leads based on job title, company size, uh, using clean leads. Uh, unique mechanism. You guys are getting the sense of this. Just pause the video and kind of like write them down if you want, if you want them. But these are just ideas. Right. Proof of competence, master library, handling the objections your audience has, answering the questions your audience has. Right. So you can steal content to find, not steal it, but you got to find tweets and extract it. Right. You can use a Twitter advanced search um, and you can a username like minimum faves 300. So if I go to Twitter, I do username it's going to couple all my tweets that have um over 300 likes right or you can just click advanced search right here and then you can use this this is really good for finding people's tweets um and then why you should respond to dms just something very important that nobody talks about but 70 to 90 percent of your dms will be people asking questions in regards to the content you have posted and this is the source of how you create new content the content you post is simply what people are asking you and that's it. And you can't find out what people are asking you if you have your DMs closed or you're not answering them, right? And this also helps with just building relationships to people. People will like you if you engage with them, right? I, like someone sends me a message and I, I have 91,000 followers and I respond to them. They're like, oh shit, I didn't know you would respond. I'm like, yeah, bro, I respond to like everything. Um, so reword your own tweets or threads that are three plus months old. Go into the Twitter advanced search and search for your own best performing tweets between particular dates. And then you can, you can also do this with other people's profiles and just reword the tweets. That's all you do. So increasing engagement, respond to all the comments on your tweets, right? This continuously pushes your tweets higher and higher, right? Twitter is a feed. If you interact with the tweet, it pushes it back to the top for other people. Right. So responding to all the comments on your tweet automatically doubles the comment count. Right. This is true for every social media. Right. It's true on YouTube. It's true. It's true on LinkedIn. You respond to every comment and it just keeps pushing it. It, it keeps pushing it. Right. Particularly if you start a conversation under your post, because now there's a there's a dialogue occurring under the post. And what Twitter is going to see or LinkedIn's going to see or YouTube's going to see is, oh, if I push this video, they're probably going to go to the comments and they might start engaging in this dialogue, right? Now it's going to keep people on the app longer. Start dialogues under your tweets. It pushes the main top tweet so much farther. So calls to action. The entire function of all of this is to point people somewhere. Why are you trying to grow a social media audience? If you're not selling something, there's literally no purpose to be on social media unless you're selling something. That is the entire function of this, right? So you should not be doing this unless you're on, unless you're pointing people somewhere, right? If you have your product figured out, point them to a landing page. Plug your landing page below like 80% of your tweets. And then you're retweeting that top tweet like a lot, like three, four times over the course of three, four days. And you're retweeting the plug tweet a bunch of times. So it just keeps popping up on the timeline. It just keeps going over and over and over again, right? If you don't have your product fi figured out, point them to, to follow you, right? If you like this tweet, really appreciate a follow as I'll, be put, as I'll be putting more content like this out regularly. If you like this thread, throw me a follow and comment your questions below. I'll be making more threads these, this week and would love your inputs, right? So two things. If you are a beginner entrepreneur, you are below $10,000 a month. You don't know what to sell. You don't know absolutely anything. Internetmoneygroup.com. If you, I'm going to put the link below here. That is, that is my private group. 
I have indoctrination videos. I'm going to send you a video every single day until you are indoctrinated into making money online and not being a loser. If you are at $5,000 to $10,000 per month, you're an agency owner, you're on an online business, you're already getting there, but you can't break past like 20, 30K a month, and you'd like to get to 100K a month, go to clientrecension.com. You can watch the video on that site. Just go to the opt in. There's a video behind there. I explain what client extension is. Internetmoneygroup.com also has a video, but if you if if you're if you're already in business, go to clientsense.com. That's it for me, boys. Can you do me please a big favor? Can you like this video? Can you subscribe to it? And if you think it's good, can you post it on Twitter? I will retweet it, put it on LinkedIn, I'll I'll comment, I'll do whatever, I'll repost it. Thank you so much. Do this, it works. And that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one.